So, intelligence is obviously a massive thing just genuinely in life, you know, because intelligence defines, it, it kind of defines who you're going to be. So obviously, to start off with, how do you measure intelligence? Obviously, there are IQ tests. Um, if you guys don't know what an IQ test is, Google it. It's basically, obviously, a test that measures your intelligence levels. Um, and it's kind of like a pictures and numbers, words. It's all, it's a really, really weird test, really. It's like, guess the next picture in this sequence. Um, and it'll have loads of square boxes and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, so, obviously, the higher IQ you have, supposedly, the more intelligent you are. And that's true to some extent. I don't, I don't quote me on this, but I think like over 120, that's that's pretty good. You know, over 140, you should be working for NASA, and, and most people that do work at NASA have an IQ of 150 plus because they're doing fucking rocket science. Look, take take Stephen Hawking. I think his IQ is around 200, something like that, and he is one of the most intelligent men in the world. Okay, so besides from IQ, what else do we have? We have exams. But are exams a proper indication of how intelligent you are? I don't think so. Because, to put it frankly, exams are just a memory test. That's all they are. They're just a memory test. Just because you're better at exams than someone else doesn't make you more intelligent at all. You know, especially in the English education system, it's drilled in that exams are so important, they're so important, and they are. I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from the fact that exams are in, aren't important because they are. But what I'm saying is, you know, you're drilled in, you know, you do exams all throughout. I'm not sure what it's like in the American education system, but especially in England, you know, you do your first exams when you're about six. I think that's when you do SATs. And then obviously you've got 11 plus, common entrance, etc. when you're about 11, 12. And then you move on to your GCSEs when you're 15, 16, then A-levels, etc, etc, degrees, etc. So, it all starts from a young age, really. So, you know, you're learning, you say you're six, and you, you, you're you coming up to your first SATs exam, or, or, or don't know, well, you're just doing a practice exam, okay? And you're learning about, you're doing a geography test, and the teacher tells you that the capital of London, uh, the capital, sorry, the capital of London, the capital of England is London. Okay, so you remember that, okay, yeah, got that, okay. So then it comes to the test, and the, the, one of the questions is, what is the capital of England? You put London. Does that make you more intelligent than the person sitting next to you that put Cardiff? No, that just means you remembered it. It just means that clearly the person next to you doesn't have the same memory skills than you do, because exams are just a memory test. Until, until you get higher up in the education system, once you get past, you know, it kind of comes in at GCSEs, but once you get to A-level degree, etc., when when there are certain questions on a test that ask you to explain your own opinion, using your own knowledge um, to back up your argument, that's when you can kind of define whether you're reasonably intelligent or not, and that's when exams do measure a certain level of intelligence. So, the next thing I want to talk about is... Can you change your level of intelligence? Are you born with a certain level of intelligence that you cannot change? Or can you manipulate it in such a way as to you sort of becoming a, a fucking rocket scientist? You know? Can you realistically enhance your memory banks? Because you're going to be doing exams throughout the rest of your life. There's no bones about it. Even when you're going for job interviews, they're going to be asking you certain questions. Not necessarily a test or exam, but there'll be some questions on there where you have to answer it, obviously, because they don't want to take any Tom, Dick and Harry on board. Can you... Is there a way of enhancing your general intelligence? And I'm not talking about just generally exams, because intelligence can be measured in a whole... sort. Take me, for example. I am a prime, prime example of this. I'm not that great at exams, but I have a quite high common sense level and I have a fantastic awareness level. I'm, I'm aware 
of my surroundings, I am aware of things that are going on. And you know, that helps me in, in what I do. You know, that helps when you play COD. I know it's as silly as it sounds, but if you're aware that there's someone behind you, you're going to turn around and kill them. But does that make me any less or more intelligent than, say I have a twin brother, okay, and, you know, we share, we share nigh on exactly the same DNA, we're, we're exactly the same personality, exactly the same mannerisms, we went to the same school, same education, blah, 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 blah. Why is it, or, or, or am I, or am I more or less intelligent than him, just because he's better at exams, but he doesn't have a fucking clue how to play COD, he doesn't have a clue how to cook, clean, iron, etc, etc. He doesn't have any common sense levels at all. And, and a few of my friends are like that. Like, I'm so sure probably one of them are what, is watching this. Great when it comes to exams. Fantastic. He's great. He's a smart guy. He puts in the work. But he has no common sense. He doesn't have a fucking clue how the world works. He genuinely doesn't. And I'm not trying to put him down or anything. But he doesn't have a clue. And so, I want to know... Can you alter your intelligence level? Obviously, you can. You can train your. Can you train? Well, can you train your brain? Can you train your memory banks? Can you? Can you get a better memory if that makes sense? Can you make your memory bigger if that makes any sense? You know, I'm not sure if you can. And can you train yourself to have more common sense? No, because common sense just comes naturally. General knowledge just comes naturally. It's just genuinely what you know and what you're good at. Just because I'm bad at exams doesn't make me any more or less intelligent than you are just because you're good at exams, because I'm better at other things than you're shit at, you know? So the last thing I want to talk about is, um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a commentary quite similar to this, um, talking about religion and what is religion and, and all that sort of stuff. Now, intelligence and religion ties in fantastically, and I probably could have added that onto the last commentary where I was talking about religion. So say I am, say I'm a very religious man, I'm not, but just pretend I am for the next couple of minutes. And obviously, because I'm religious, I believe that God has put me on this earth to fulfill a duty, to do, to do something, you know, to fulfill a role in society. And so, you know, I grow up and, you know, I'm 30 and, and I'm a tramp, you know, I'm a tramp. I live on the streets, I don't have anything, I don't have a penny to my name, I don't eat, well, I, I have to beg for food, beg for water, beg for money, I don't have anything going for me. And then, take my twin brother again, he's a bloody rocket scientist, and again, we share 99.9% .9 of DNA, we're exactly the same personality, etc. What makes him so different from me, in terms of, in a religious aspect, that God wanted him to become, because that's what it is, you know, if you're a religious person, obviously, God wants you to become something. So does God want me to become a tramp? Did God want him to become a scientist? To become a rocket scientist? I don't know. Because then, I'm, obviously, go back to where I'm a very religious person, I'm a tramp. It starts to slowly dawn on me that whether God really does exist. And if he does, why would he want me to become a tramp? Why am I so different from my brother? Because genetically, we are practically the same. Personality, practically the same. What's so different between me and him that decided, that made God decide that he wanted to, that, that God wanted him to become a scientist and, and, and wanted me to become a tramp? I don't know. I don't know.